also, we're at our large lighting installation, instruments set up ready to test, our links in position, and we're going to carry out our first test of continuity CPC and include our polarity test. We're going to prove continuity at the first switch, we're going to prove continuity and polarity at lighting point one, we're going to leave this room in effect and go into our second room, prove continuity at each of the switches, and then we're going to prove continuity and polarity at the light fin itself. Instruments ready to go. First test is carried out. I'm trying to show you the instrument at the same time, if I can, I don't think I'll be able to. So, yeah, brilliant, that's fantastic. So, probing onto my earth terminal, my CPC, and my switch itself, and I've got 0.3 of an ohm. That proves there is a CPC at the switch, so we've proved continuity at that point. No need to operate the switch, just leave it with a continuity reading, the switch can be left alone. Go to my light fitting. This time the light fit is slightly different than what we've been fitting before. We've got a spoke conductive part, therefore I need to prove the actual chassis, the metal chassis itself is connected to the CPC and not just the terminal within here. So I'm going to connect onto my brown switching live within the light fitting and onto the chassis itself. So I'm on the metal work. Okay, my circuit is currently in the on position. I need to operate my switch. Radu, can you operate the switch for me please? So we should now go off. Circuit's broken, yeah. and then the circuit should come back on. Down should be on for this switch, it's one way, proving it on the chassis, not the earth terminal itself, the actual chassis itself for proving continuity CPC. Walking to our next room, to our next room, gonna prove just continuity at the lighting point itself. I picked anything up, I have, point six. Moving across. Point. Or seven, and then to my final point itself. Remembering we're looking to achieve the highest reading that we see on all the readings we get, and that'll be the one we're recording. And now we've got point three. So I've proved continuity at all the switch points. I now need to prove polarity of the light fit itself. Standard button hand folder. Radu's gonna help me again by hopefully operating the switches. So the earth terminal within the fitting and the switching line conductor. The circuit currently is off. So first switch, yeah, operate the first switch for me. The circuit has now come on. We need to go to the next switch in circuit. Do not re-operate the same switch, so it'll be the next switch in circuit. Circuit should go off. And then go to the next switch in circuit. We're just gonna come around me and do the next one. Circuit comes back on, then go back again. Middle switch. Circuit goes off. And then finally, last one, circuit returns on. At this stage, I'm looking for my highest reading. I've got one ohm as my highest reading. All circuit switches should be left on. This switch here is left down for on. These are left in the on position. Doesn't matter which way around they are, whether up or down for on. Left in the on position, ready for my next testing sequence, which is insulation resistance. Okay.